Hey guys, it's Becca and I'm here today to do my second update to my lip service project pan. I'll link my um, first update in the iCards as well as my playlist. Um, I actually have three empties today. Uh, one will be a surprise that no one will know about. But the first one is the one that I worked the hardest on and it is the Sephora um, Cream Lip Stain in 01. And as you can see, there is some product at the bottom, but I cannot get it out. And it is, there's like a really big hole in the inside. Let me see. There we go. There's a really big hole in like the center of that product down there and I just can't get it out and I really don't care too much anymore to try and get it out. I probably use this about 10 days this month. I actually didn't finish it until March 1st, but I'm considering it an empty for February. I'm glad to see this go. I'm so sick of red lips. Red lips is not my thing. It is a nice once in a while occasion, but not all the time. Um, because I have a lot of red lips because that seems to be the one thing that is always sent in a subs subscription box is a red lip and you need one red lipstick. Maybe two for like a deeper red and like a true red, but I need to just get them out of my collection. <laughs> and my second update, no surprise to anyone, is another lip balm and it's my Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm and it is completely empty. I finished this, when did I finish this? I finished this the 18th of the month. So, being as I cannot be without lip balm, I rolled in this Bite Agave lip balm. It's a mini, and I used up the whole thing. I'll show you how big it was. It was actually this big and then I scraped out everything on the inside. I really did like this. It really moisturized my lips. Um, I liked it so much I dug it out. And but the only one drawback was it did we leave a weird film on glasses, like drinking glasses. So I don't know if I would buy the full size. It's $18 for the full size, which I think is quite a bit of money. And this Smith's, which I really like, is only $8 for this big container it's huge um so i probably would buy this over that and they do have this in a squeezy tube if you don't want to do the pot moving along i don't have as much progress as i would have hoped with my other lip products because i really was focusing to get that red one out because i was sick of it and i just don't want to wear red lips anymore so my tarte um lip surgeon's lip stain in dainty or lip tint. It only has like a teeny bit of progress. It's not too bad though. I mean, it's still a decent amount of progress for only wearing it maybe four times. So I really wanna focus on this bad boy this time. And because I was focusing so much on the red um, lip product, I was using a nude colored skin tone lip color um, lip liner. So I don't have as much progress on my um, lippy stick in Lumiere but I still have a little bit you know not bad for not using it every single day so this I'm not like I'm gonna be like oh I really need to use this every single day or you know I'm just using it as need be and if I want to wear it all over my lips and like maybe put a gloss on top I will do that if not I just light my lips up. I have my lip gloss and it is from Lip Fusion in the color Fresh and there's this whole long name, collagen and stuff and is, whoops, where is it? Just underneath that other one, I don't have that much progress um, in it because I was focusing so much on that, on this red um, lip stick, liquid lipstick. So it, like the one thing that kind of stinks is like I can layer these or in the, um, lip liner and all that stuff but with that red color i really could only just wear the red color so i definitely didn't have as much progress on this and my two products that i'm going to be rolling in um to replace this two two slash three empties is another lip balm of course it's from skin fix and it's natural minty mint lip repair balm 
So I've been using this for a couple days, but it's pretty much at the top. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this um, in a month, but maybe six weeks. I'm hoping it's like a, it's kind of hard to squeeze out the correct amount. Like either it's too much or too little. So it's a little learning learning curve. And to replace that liquid lipstick, I'm rolling in this Smashbox liquid lipstick. There's no name on this, which kind of stinks. But you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, that I do have some, like, air holes in there. Or lines, you know, you can start to see through that. So I don't know how much I have. Like, it looks pretty empty. But I'm sure if I take the stopper out, there's going to be plenty of product in there. So um, I'm going to use this up and I was going to put in some backups for this liquid lipstick, but I think if I do finish this like rather quickly, because I do my rotation like one day of each, and so for obviously the lip balm I use every single day, multiple times a day, um, I was going to put another liquid lipstick to maybe put uh, use up but I don't think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna just try and focus using these up like if I do use this up I'm just gonna start rotating through the three of these so my ultimate goal is to use up these three products my lip stick product my lip gloss and my liquid lipstick I think I could do it if I really do focus but depends if I do focus on it because because um some days in the month of February, I didn't even wear a lip product. I just wore a lip balm. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm excited. I've used to date three lip balms and one lip product, which isn't amazing, especially since it was just a teeny little baby one. But it's still better than not using anything at all and, you know, just having things go to waste. And it, this is a color I would never use. So... That I'm really proud of myself for doing that. Um, so yeah, my goals are to just use up the product from Tarte, Smashbox, and Lip Fusion. So this, I think, is a big enough project in itself for one month. I can't wait to see everyone's lip products. Lip products are really exciting to watch because you know, I feel like you know how much effort you need to do you need to put in to use up a lip product. So I think it's always interesting and it's always interesting to see how slowly or quickly people can go with their products. Uh, let me see your lip product um, projects down below, link them, let me know. And I can't wait to see everyone in my next video. Bye.